okay welcome to the walk through of the economics 2281 syllabus for the year 2020 till 2022 uh, all the material which you see in this presentation is derived from the syllabus of cambridge o levels economics 2281 which is available on their original website so let's uh, dive right in the o level economic syllabus is divided into six parts starting with the basic economic problem then the allocation of resources then the microeconomic decision makers then the government economic development and finally globalization and international trade so there are 33 topics in all um, when you do the syllabus what does the examiner expect from you uh, when you give your examination so the first thing which the examiner wants to know is how well you understand the economic terminology that is the bare minimum the concepts and theories um, how do you use basic economic numeracy and interpret economic data uh, this is especially important while doing the cases in paper number two uh, use the tools of economic analysis express economic ideas logically and clearly in a written form and then apply economic understanding to current economic issues that is one of the most fundamental things to know about this course is that you have to apply and evaluate the knowledge which you have it is not uh, only enough to know about the basic concepts but you need to know when to apply what particular concept and the most important thing is that you need to um, make the examiner understand that you know all of this so you have to be clear in your answers and the examiner should need to you know examine uh, should be able to point out from the way you answer your questions that you are fully aware of these concepts now the assessment objectives um, into three parts this is the assessment objective one two and three which stands for knowledge analysis and evaluation and they can be further into um, other sub parts so assessment objective one revolves around understanding and knowing the economic definitions the key terms formulas and the terminologies um, analysis revolves around interpreting data and to find out about the relationships and to analyze the links the effect of one factor over the other then evaluation revolves around understanding the information evaluating the limitations and understanding the different contrasting viewpoints or perspectives of each information given <clears throat> how well are you able to understand uncertainties and how well are you able to think in a logical way if you're aiming for an e or d in a course i think you should aim for assessment objective one and give up at that but of course that's not the aim but my uh, the, the way um, i have broken this down is to make you understand that if you aim only for understanding the definitions and understanding the formulas and terminologies and you do not focus much on analysis and evaluation you cannot aim for a higher grade in order to get a c and a b <coughs> excuse me you need to get uh, your analysis part correct you need be you need to able to you need to be able to understand what are the different linkages between facts and data and how can you write them and of course if you are aiming for an a and an a star you cannot achieve that without understanding the concept of evaluation so for example if you are able, if you are evaluating the concept of inflation you just can't write inflation is bad you have to understand why some form of inflation is actually good for the economy <coughs> excuse me uh, the paper scheme there are two papers paper one and paper two of 120 marks two parts paper one is of 30 mcqs 45 minutes of 30 marks and the objectives <coughs> being tested are knowledge and understanding and analysis a little bit of analysis 
mostly knowledge. In paper two, <coughs> excuse me. In paper two, a case would be given, and short and long questions. It is divided into two parts: section A and B. One compulsory case, and three questions out of six. You are you are about to get a shocker about this because this was true till 2019. um moving on from 2020 this will not be the case and we i'm just going to explain in a minute and all three assessment objectives will be judged in this paper the paper is going to be of 90 marks the <coughs> yeah and, and that's the gift from now on the section b in paper 2 will give you four questions out of which you have to do three so previously we had six questions and we had a choice of 3 now we have only a choice of one we can do any three out of four questions so yeah tough luck <clears throat> paper 2 scheme is very simple you get a case um, and three questions to choose from section a is usually of 30 marks and it is mandatory it is compulsory for you to do that is section a then you have to pick three questions from section b they are of 20 marks each so that brings out the total to be 90 marks divided into four parts a is of 2 marks b part b is of 4 marks c is of 6 marks and d is of 8 marks usually all these questions are preceded by a small caselet or a few lines describing a particular scenario and in uh, the part c and d you may have to refer to the case may not necessarily always <clears throat> so for part a you are being um judged on on your knowledge on how well you understand your concepts and the action word for the question could be define or what is meant by a simple definition com- conveying a complete knowledge has to be written here um then part b is usually an a question which requires a little bit of explanation and explanation in the form of examples um this is a four marks and of course here also your knowledge of uh, facts and data and theories is being checked in part c which is a six mark question the action word is analysis or analyze where you will have to understand uh, how factors affect a particular concept this six marks can be uh, these six marks can be divided into two parts two marks for knowledge and four marks for analysis which makes a total of six eight marks question which is the essay question it has an action word of evaluate and um the four marks are from analysis and the four marks are from evaluation so that makes a question of um, evaluate here you have to present contrasting viewpoints you have to analyze a particular concept from different sources different ways different perspectives now if you want to achieve a good grade never skip a topic never skip a topic why because usually the four parts in an essay question will be from different topics within a same question all parts will be from different topics they may not be from the same topic so if one question comes from a demand the other could um, could very well ask you to understand the government policies which affect demand or something like that so um, please 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 never skip a topic it is only going to reduce your chances of getting a better grade should be aware of is to how to make connections if you focus on the marking scheme even if you do very well on parts a and b you will get full which is 2 and 4 but if you are weaker um and if you are not able to make proper connections then in um part c you may get 3 and in part d you may get 4 right if you if you are weak in making connections and and understanding how things link up which means that you will be getting 13 out of 20 which is what 65% which is not good enough um so please i think one one ability which you need to um develop is the ability to um uh, make connection and the third and probably the most important is to write within time 
all the concepts which we explain and explain clearly need to be um, judged according to the time available and make sure that you complete it and this is only possible when you have loads of practice so you know exactly how to shape your thoughts here are the three things which are important never skip a topic learn to make connections and learn to write within um, so if you want to ace economics this year there are 52 broad topics and 32, 33 general topics you should know the why which is the evaluation and you should know what and how much to write that only comes with practice read daily make your own notes this is more important the notes which you make on your own by reading the text um, i think those notes stick in your head much better than the ones which you um, get from other instructors and other sources practice past papers weekly there is no compromise in this if you want to get a good grade i think the best way you can go about is to practice as much as you can and practice will make you perfect so hoping for the best best of luck and thank you